Hi, I'm Jason Whitaker. Welcome to Media Bites. Barry's away for a few weeks and Barnaby Joyce is going for a lot longer. Controversial ex-deputy PM Barnaby Joyce has been dumped by the Nationals, replaced by his deputy, David Littleproud. Yes, Barnaby's been given the boot. But don't feel sorry for him. Feel sorry for the talking heads on Sky. These are live pictures coming from just outside the room where the decision will be made. Exciting stuff. But settle in, folks. We're in for the long haul. We're still waiting to see what happens in that Nationals party room. I'm not sure if anyone's phone's buzzing just yet. They were not, no matter how hard Andrew Clonell tried. This is probably the longest <laughs> wait I've seen for 21 for votes. 21. In history. Unbelievable. Starting nearly an hour ago. Unbelievable. And so is this. Is this the new discipline? No one from, is leaking out? Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> Let's get some leaks happening. Fancy them not keeping Andrew Clonell in the loop. Those gnats will not be rushed, as midday came and went. We've got so much time here, we could just... What about this radio silence out of the gnats? Until finally, after two hours of talk, a result. David Littleproud is the leader of the Nationals. For you, leaving the Sky team relieved. And Barnaby Joyce, well, circumspect. Well, I suppose you think I'm sad. Not really. We're not sad either, because as long as you're in the game, we know you give good quote, like this one before the party room meeting. Who do you think would be your best replacement if you come to <laughs> Um, I don't know, Jesus, Muhammad, I don't know. Yep, Barnaby is a straight shooter. I don't want to see someone else's turd my toilet. And nobody stood up to those pampered Hollywood stars, human and canine, like Barnaby. I got Johnny right, you know, she was, oh, Johnny's lovely, Johnny's lovely. Johnny was a dead shit. David Littleproud, you have a lot to live up to. Now to the movie event of the year. Do you, you know, Feel it. I feel the need. Mm. The need for speed. Mm -hmm. The need for speed. If the need for speed. The need for speed. The need. The need for speed. Can we also get some more popcorn? I need a magnet too. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's good. Okay. And all that speed has some in the media a little dizzy. You lost that love and feeling. You start to feel excited. You got tingles up your spine. <laughs> and why wouldn't Koshi be tingly? After 36 years, Top Gun is back. Yes, it is Top Gun week here on Sunrise. Yes, a whole week, with Seven's Mark Beretta strutting his stuff and taking to the skies. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And what about Maverick himself? He was there too. To see an audience have that kind of experience uh, is, that's, that's the dream. That is really the dream. It's unbelievable. Just like all the dreamy coverage. So did the media blitz work? You bet. Top Gun Maverick has outperformed expectations at the global box office, taking more than $270 million worldwide on its opening weekend. Ka-ching. <laughs> only the media got a cut. Now to a new way of doing news on Nine Queensland. There's been a bizarre moment at the Louvre in Paris. A man disguised as an old woman in a wheelchair vandalising the Mona Lisa. Trippy. And viewers were seeing double for their State of Origin preview as well. They, they, they picked themselves. But at least there were graphics, unlike Nine's finance report in Sydney a week earlier. The ASX closed up 0.1% while the All Lords gained eight points. Sorry, there's no information on that graphic for you. But when it came to the all-important price of petrol, everything came good. Though that's a set of numbers we don't really need to see. And we'll be back with Media Watch 9.15 Monday night, also iView and social media. Don't miss it.